Welcome to Film Shapes, the podcast. Hi, everybody. Today, we're going to be talking to Adriana Begovic of Anarchy PR. Uh, Adriana, welcome to Film Shapes. Such good pronunciation of my last name. Thanks for having really? me. Is that correct? <laughs> yeah, okay. it's perfect. Great, thanks. <laughs> and of course, Rolly's here. How are you, Rolly? I'm very well, thank you. Great. So, Adriana, to start with, could you tell us a bit about yourself and your company? Myself mm. and my company. Sure. Well, I work as a publicist, predominantly in film and TV and the arts. And my company, Anarchy PR, has been around for 12 years. Um, working here in Perth for national film distribution companies, national arts companies, and just spreading the good word about the arts. Great, great. Now, um, at the moment, the um, is it Alliance Francais French Film Festival? It's kind of in the middle of that, aren't we, at the moment? So good with your pronunciation again. <laughs> Thank you. Well done. Um, what can you tell us about this festival? This festival yeah. has been running for 32 years. Oh, okay. It's, um, it's actually... There's a lot of foreign film festivals that um, happen throughout the year and the Alliance Francais um, French Film Festival is the only one that's produced by the Alliance Francais. They're the peak body for French culture in Australia. Right. So they have a cultural uh, position there that programs a whole slate of films, mm -hmm. usually 30 to 40 films right. that get programmed f across one month. Mm -hmm. um, this year obviously running from March to April, so March 10 to April 7 here in Perth, but different dates around the country. Right. Yeah. And, yeah, showcasing some of the best French cinema, some retrospective films, um, sometimes even some TV series that don't uh, get oh, broadcast okay. locally. There's a bunch of stuff. Some of these are, are world premieres too, I know. Yes. Right? Oh, cool. One of the good things about the Rona. Yes, right. <laughs> One of oh, them. I see, yeah. yeah. When you say TV series, are they on big screens that they're yeah. showing them? Yeah, yeah okay. we did it a few years ago with um, – Maybe that was because there wasn't many movies available that year oh, and really? the programmers had to get creative. But it just so happens mm. when you're looking through the program sometimes, it's not happening this year, but in previous mm, okay. years there's been, you know, um, the French uh, version of Friends and blah, blah. Oh, really? <laughs> well, so how many episodes? I mean, Oh, there was watching, like three. Is it like a binge on three episodes yeah. back to back? Yeah, however right. long you can, you know, sit in the cinema and watch something. Um, wait, just when you said programmers, do, who do you have any say in programming? Or no. It, oh, okay. So who does this? Is this Alliance Francaise? Yeah, or? they oh, have okay. a, um, a position, a cultural attachment to the Embassy of France, and um, they program the festival every year. Okay. Okay. So do you, have you seen many of these films so far? I yes? tried to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> do you have any um, any standouts? For us. I do. Yeah. I thought The Man Who Sold His Skin is really great. It's about ah. um, a guy who is a refugee, a Syrian refugee, who um, lends his body as a canvas to a tattoo artist and then obviously collectors become infatuated with his skin. Right. This is the guy that was uh, being exhibited at Mona, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I actually yeah, did, yeah, I did that, a podcast on... On Mona a while yeah. back when I was in Hobart, and that was he, yeah he was part of the exhibition. Cool there. place, interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. fascinating, so, and yeah. just like what the yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, all right. But um, I fell is another one, which was the opening night film. Uh, it's about Gustav I fell and the creator of the Eiffel Tower, mm -hmm. and um, a love affair that he have had with a French woman, okay. and um, you know what? You're putting me on the spot here, and I've <laughs> just is that a documentary or a, a Dramatization. Dramatization. It's, it's mm. Roman Dury is the lead. I think he's a f great actor. Yes. So, yeah, he's mm. fantastic. And that will be having a release off the back of the festival. So a lot of key films sh uh, premiere, preview in yeah. advance as part of the festival and then, you know, you'll see them on a later in, in the year. In a couple of months or something. Yeah, yeah right. Okay. Yeah, cool. Uh, I saw Mandibles the other day. Have oh, yeah. That? I haven't seen that one. Bonkers. It's yeah. About a huge fly basically, so... Yeah, but that guy, that's the guy that did um, uh, Deer Skin that we saw. So last good. Did you see yeah. that one? That was At one of Rev. your. Yeah, that was yeah. great. Yeah. So oh, that's right. It was a Rev one. Yeah, yeah. it was yeah. so yeah. weird. So yeah. weird. So oh, I like that. I, I think Mandel's is just a little bit less. Weird. Good. Uh, it's kind of as weird, but. Less uh, good. It, yeah, I think it's less. It's not as good. Deer Skin was great, I thought. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. 
Um, so you, you said you do other festivals as well. Yes. Can you tell us a few others? So all the other foreign film festivals that get promoted are put on by Palace Cinemas. Okay. Um, so obviously nationally, locally here we have Luna Palace and Palace Cinemas in Rain Square and then nationally Palace has about 20 other cinemas and they program the Spanish, mm-hmm. German, Scandinavian mm-hmm, and Italian and British okay. foreign yeah. film festivals yeah. throughout the year. Uh, so that's coming up. The Spanish is coming up in April, May, and then will be followed by the German and Scandi and Italian and British. Great. Wow. Okay. Yeah, British seems like it was only recently, wasn't it? That's yeah, brutal. just last year. Was it, okay, like the end of last year, wasn't it? And the yeah. British Film Festival is like the only foreign film festival in English. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's right. just a bunch of amazing films getting yeah. pre-release yeah. screenings. It's a good chance to see some of the Oscar contenders and, yeah, you know, right. all the big films of next year yeah. around it. October, November, December. Yeah, right. Which of those do you – you've done them like for a few years, I guess. Yeah, I've been working on the festivals probably for about eight years. Which of those do you think is the most popular? Um, well, in terms of the cultural communities here um, yeah. in Perth, uh, mm. I think the Italian Film Festival is very popular. Right. The oh. French as well. Okay. Um, and um, the Scandi – Gets a lot of um, really? a lot of people in. Yes, yeah, Scandi Cinema Circle. Is that because of the, the Scandi Noir with the yeah. TV stuff? Is that yeah. you reckon? Oh, okay, I reckon. And I mean, yeah. if you're an art house lover, you just like Scandinavian cinema because they um, know how to write a really sad ending, and they're not yeah. afraid to just take it there, and yeah, everyone right. dies. You guys <laughs> seem really comfortable with the term Scandi, like you've been saying it for years. I've never <laughs> heard that before at <laughs> all. Scandinavian. Yeah, but is that something people say? Uh, is it Scandi? The know. Scandi Film Festival. Well, it's certainly with the those TV shows that like, um, is it the Borgen or something yes. like the Killing? And yes, that, is that right? Yes, like, yeah, they were quite popular. What ten years ago now? Yeah, is that right? So and the um, mm. the girl who played with fire and all that. Yeah, Steve oh yeah, Larson, of course. All yeah. that, that trilogy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I right. think I, I speak in acronyms anyway, like all my projects. So I'm probably oh, really? going to start talking about something <laughs> that you guys don't understand. That's right. That's we're, right. We're yeah. Question. <laughs> um, so, uh, speaking of like the festivals, but not only the festivals, other films that you get. How do you – what's the relationship between you and the actual distributors or, or the film production company? So the distributors hire me. So, okay. I'm, so I've am i been working for Madman Entertainment as part of their marketing and promotions team for 12 years. Okay. And the same goes for Studio Canal. Right. They um, have head offices in Melbourne and Sydney and then they have freelance publicists like myself who work for them locally in the other territories okay. representing their product – here. You're kind of their agent over here yeah. then. Oh, great. And okay. working on their their national directions mm-hmm. for their film, but, you know, implementing all that locally. So working with the cinemas here and working with the press here and working with other organisations here to um, convince people to spend $20 at the cinema uh, yeah. on mm-hmm. this film. Mm. What's, the, um, what's the best part of your job, do you think? <laughs> my dad still thinks I just watch movies. <laughs> I try to explain my job to my dad. And right. he's like, what? Like, yeah, I'm just going to watch a movie. <laughs> right, right. So um, though I get to I get to watch movies sure, yeah. in advance of everyone else. Yep. Um, I get to work with a lot of uh, – I get to meet a lot of creatives. Mm-hmm. Um, I work with a great team at, at all my clients. They're, they're great, great people, great team. Um, you know, even though it's – you know, it can be a lot of admin, a lot of, um, you know, organisation, I yeah. guess the – the constantly changing nature of the films you're working on keeps yeah. you interested. You might have a, you know, a fashion film, then you might have a dramatization of a wartime movie, then you might have a lock, stock, two smoke and barrels yeah. type film, yeah. then you might have a rom com that your mum's going to love. It does seem like, yeah, when I when I get some emails from you, I say, "Well, that really this delete, one, this, this one? <laughs> delete <laughs> this one, Why, this and this. wow, he so, pays yeah. the bills, Paul. Shut up." <laughs> <laughs> There's some, yeah, there is a range of, that, of films though. Yeah, that's great. Um, aside from films, so there are other things that, that, that Anarchy does? Yes. Can you tell us about those? Yes. So um, I've worked with uh, Sculpture by the Sea oh. locally doing their publicity since 2010. Okay. Um, and that's just all about getting, um, obviously getting people down to the seaside to experience art I have worked with the Perth Comedy Festival promoters um, who are a Sydney-based company who put on the Sydney Comedy Festival. I've worked with them for the last four years promoting the Perth Comedy Festival. Mm -hmm. Um, And then 
Uh, I also offer my services as a, th- uh, a unit publicist when films are shot here. Oh, uh, okay. Which, what is that? Yeah, I okay. noticed you had a bit of an yeah. IMDb thing. Yeah, okay. There are a few I've films that you have working on. You, you have. You've I'm got legit. your own page. I know, I'm legit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right? That's right, yeah. I've made it. it was, did you see that? I didn't Shady? know. You mentioned it. it yeah, I, yeah. Did you yeah, Google it was, me? I Googled. <laughs> Oh, yeah. so many questionable we, we, that's, things on that's there. That's called research, yeah. I, kind of. Yeah. Cool. Um, <laughs> what does that do? What, yeah, what's a unit so a unit publicist attaches himself to the production department okay. and you are the publicist who works on set while the film is being created to get the assets that are required to promote the film because, you know, it's going to be an hour, a year mm. in the editing suite mm. and you can't go back and get something if you don't get uh, it okay. now. So, and then yep. we... We um, organise uh, interviews and set visits where possible, bringing across um, media to, oh, okay. you know, uh, get an interest in the production if that's possible. We um, also work to create uh, all the assets that are used to promote a film from shooting the poster image to um, all those behind the scenes uh, yeah. Content that you'll see on YouTube when an actor's talking yeah. about their role. Uh, a unit okay. publicist has, um, so you they're know, doing that. At, busted at their the guts to get that. Yeah, yeah it's right. really hard. Uh, what's so? What's going on over here? They're doing a few films over here. Yeah, now, I've got yeah. one that's coming up. Can, I've, so, my, can you uh, talk about this? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's out there. It's, it's not yeah. vaguely. Talk vaguely, <laughs> there's okay. a film coming up um, that's shooting in Perth at the end of April. Okay. Um, you'll get an announcement about that in your inbox. Oh, really? Yeah. Is don't it, don't d- delete, delete that one. No. Yeah. Right, no. <laughs> Is it um, Perth or down south? No, it's Perth. Oh, okay. So this I'm one, yeah. So something else. The, yeah, there was. Um, uh, I worked on Rams, which was shot in oh, Mount Barker okay. yep. in 2018. Mm. Um, and obviously the release date for that one just kept getting pushed back because of the yeah, coronavirus. Yeah, yeah that's I was very right. yeah. thankful when that oh, yeah, cool. saw the light of day. And then um, there was an ABT, ABC TV show for kids called Itch, okay. which was shot in Albany. Um, this is a film that's going to be shot in Perth. Um, coming up, it's... It, it, the, the title's out there. It's called How to Please a Woman. Um, and it is a... a, a a film that's going to be shot in and around Perth. Oh, okay. Uh, and then there's a few other, there's a lot of local productions shooting here. Yeah. So there's, you know, in terms of what Anna PR does, that's what I'm hoping to do more of. Okay. Yeah, right. Okay. Are you doing now what you imagined yourself doing when you started the business? Like mm. it was always going to be a film thing, but did it sort of pan out in the way that you expected it to? I think I'm just happy that I'm still employed. Um, <laughs> yeah. When I first yeah. started, I had no idea what I was doing. Right. Um, yeah, okay. Which is pretty funny. I was 26 years old and I got the opportunity to take over um, Madman Entertainment and and back then Hoyt's Distribution, which was mm, now okay. Studio Canal, and I started my business overnight. Wow, cool. Um, okay. And, um, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> is... is Studio Canal related to Canal Plus? Yeah, they're the oh, okay. French company. They brought um, about five years ago, oh, Studio okay. Canal bought Hoyt's Distribution okay. and rebranded to Studio Canal Australia. Right, okay. Yeah, Hoyt's, is Hoyt's happening anymore anywhere? No, so, that's uh, it. It's gone. What were we Re- talking about before? The Greater Union and Event. Uh, oh. What's the difference going on? <laughs> Do you know the... Yes, that's a good question. The same, the, especially for, for your I sake. I don't Shane. know the real reason, but... Event Cinemas owns Greater Union, and I don't know why they haven't just rebranded all their cinemas to be Event yeah. Cinemas. Um, but like here, Greater Union Morley is part of the Event Cinemas family, oh, and okay. in all other states, there'll be a sad cousin, yeah, with a GU uh, logo. Uh, okay, right. but it's all part of Event. Right. Event. So okay, yeah. So they're the Big Daddy Event. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, just one more question, Adriana. Do you have a choice regarding which films you're promoting like if someone sends you something to promote can you can you knock it back if you're not okay okay i just don't get paid true okay (laughs) so is there anything that you would knock back yeah yeah Uh, or have i have i have knocked back a few i don't really want to name them but it was more because the themes were just didn't sit well with me the timing wasn't going to work okay i thought that it was a straight to dvd release to be honest Mm. right Um, okay you know uh, and i can't deliver i know what's possible and yeah yeah yeah. you know you don't want to just um it's like anything if you know that you've got kpis and 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 deliverables and you know you, you can't achieve them yeah okay yeah oh, sorry. so you'd say <laughs> say no thanks yeah okay thanks yeah. for considering a <laughs> i'm unable to assist with you right you've got that set set email <laughs> right nice one i roll any more 
Any more questions? Oh, no, I'm, I'm just wondering, you mentioned you work with other people there, but you don't have uh, full-time staff or anything. No. You're, you're I'm a one-woman show. Are, and what are your, you know, do you have any vision for the future or do you just kind of take it, take it season by season, oh, festival by festival? I do at the moment. Yep. Like, that's been rolling for like 13 years, so it's doing okay. I think it's funny, yeah, <laughs> when, <laughs> when things roll on like that and you don't have to make those future plans, you just... Yeah. You just keep going. It with would it. be nice to, um, you know, um, have a, a, a permanent full timer, um, but obviously, you know, my business was impacted as well by coronavirus. Yeah, right. Um, last year, yeah. so um, there was six months of the year where I had no work and I couldn't get job keeper. So I went and worked for the Labor Party. Oh, right. Mm, right. That was interesting. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, seeing right. how the other side lived. Yeah. Nine to five. Yeah. Didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Nine to five jobs. Thanks yeah. for the job. Didn't like it. Yeah, um, right. But no, you know, so I'm just thankful to still be here. But it would be good to, you know, expand your expand your empire. But I'm, I'm, I work in film and arts and it's really niche. Mm. And like I said before, people don't really know what I do. Mm. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, right. you stand at the door and say hello to people at a screen. Right. That's all I do. <laughs> That's right, it, right. yeah. Hopefully they know a bit more if they listen to this now. We'll Maybe. See. Yeah. They're probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I just had one more thing and I've almost forgotten it. Um, so w- with the with the festivals coming up and the films coming up, is there any that's that's backlogged from because of the coronavirus last yeah. year? So you've got so, big events coming up, that kind of thing? Yeah, so the, mm. the Spanish Film mm. Festival didn't get to happen in 2020. So quite a few of those films, okay. um, which will be in the 2021 program, Quite a few of them were going to be screened last yeah, year, okay. but haven't been screened anywhere. So it's not like wow. it's just like yeah. pause. And yeah, okay. Give them cool. here. It's not like they've Great. you know seen the light of day elsewhere. Yeah. And it will be the same for the scan for the German and the Scandinavian because those Great. those three Scandi. festivals. The Scandi. Yeah, sorry, the yeah. Scandi. Yeah. yeah, they didn't get to happen last year. So okay. um, half the program is is films from last year, and half of it is other content. Does that make it easier or more difficult? Well, doesn't it's much really, by much and it doesn't yeah. really matter because it hasn't really screened yet. People yeah. locally in Australia, we don't – it's not like, you know, oh, that's a film from 2017. What's yeah. it doing in <laughs> the 2021 program? Yeah, yeah, we don't yeah. – you know, it's not yeah. – Sure, sure. Yeah, right. Great. Well, I think that's probably about enough. Rolly, what do you reckon? I think I think we've got plenty. Lots there. of gold here. Cool. Excellent. Adriana, thank you very much for coming today. Thanks for having <laughs> Thanks, me. Thanks, Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye.